。我来台湾差不多十年了。Within these ten years, I've drawn Taipei, Dadochen, Taichung, Xinjiang, Jiayi. Currently, I'm drawing Hamasing, which is a part of Gaoshong. There's also been a few smaller maps like Lesheng and Changchushan. When I start a drawing, it's usually somewhere that I want to explore. So I begin to look at pictures, look at any interesting landmarks in that area. I start to walk around it, explore a bit. Eventually, I start to piece together a drawing in my mind. To the point I can't not draw it, it becomes almost like an obsession. Then I begin. This is the most famous artists of the Tang Fu, Xinjiang Yuan, Sifa Yuan. They have a rhythm. Like, see that? In the second world war, the Tang Fu was destroyed. I think it's a lot of people who know that because the artist is not in the Taiwan Taiwan. Originally, I was in quite a small room. I had a very small desk as well. I couldn't fit large pieces of paper on it, so I took lots of small pieces of paper and I'd stick them together to make the larger drawings. And I always really enjoyed that because you could kind of see the city growing in front of you. About seven years ago, I told my family that I was ready to move back to England and ready to settle. But a couple of months after I told them that, I put the Taipei drawing up on Facebook just to see what happened. And I was very surprised because suddenly it was shared everywhere and a lot of people were commenting and a lot of people liked it. Some people invited me to exhibit it. I had to tell my parents, like, something's taken off here. I think I want to see where this goes. So I decided to stay in Taiwan and I was very happy that I did so. I'm naturally quite like a curious person. Walking around, I'd often be like, what is this place? What history is here? And so I'd learn a lot about Taiwan through that, and I generally feel like I knew the country a little bit better. When I'm not in the city, usually I like to go out to the mountains around Taipei. The insects were chosen especially because they're often like the most overlooked creatures of the forest. Um, most people pay more attention to the deer and the bears and this kind of thing, but uh, I wanted something that is a little less visible. Taiwan has a quite vivid amount of insects and a lot of things that I've never seen before. You only find it in Taiwan. Stuff like uh, the praying mantises, the locusts, the hornets, and especially sort of the giant spiders, which I'm both terrified of but also kind of fascinated by. The idea behind the insects was an expression of what I saw as the cities expanding continuously and in quite an unregulated way across not only Taiwan but a lot of countries. It was quite shocking how much of the forests and how much of the countryside has been lost even just 10 years. That's why the cities are sort of drawn across the insects, like taking over them. Taiwan has a lot of great artists. I hope to help the artists in the future.